Hello everyone, I hope you are well. In today's video, we will see some tricks of BART AI. ChatGPT can also do those things, but it is very limited to do those type of things. But BART AI can do it very easily and for free. But before starting, did you watch my previous video in which I talked about how can you create a modern and realistic logo using Bing AI. If you are new here, I am Hassan and I post tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, comment now in this video. Let's start today's video without any further delay. First of all, open Google Bard. You can see that bard.google.com. So the first trick I want you to show that is that Google Bard can search on Google and tell you the information. ChatGPT cannot do this. It cannot search on Google, but Bard AI can do it. So for example, if you want to search for, can you tell me what kind of videos the YouTube channel and then you can just name your channel. So I'm going to name my channel here, Java Revisited, question mark, and then press enter. So the prompt is, can you tell me what kind of videos the YouTube channel Java Revisited make? And then press enter, let's see. So guys, here is the result. And I think it is very much accurate because it is talking about the topics that we discuss on this channel, like Java tutorials, Java best practices, Spring framework. And you can also see that it is showing that here are some of their most popular videos. So the first one is that 10 best spring framework courses for Java developers to learn in 2022. So what I'm going to do is to just copy it and we can verify it on the YouTube. So what you have to do, just copy that video name and then paste it right here. And in the last, I'm going to name my channel right here and see if I found it. And you can see that the video exists and it is on my channel. So the next trick is very much time saving. What you can do in Google Bard and ChatGPT cannot do this obviously. There you can see that there is an option to use your microphone. You can just speak up and then it will just get your prompt and show you the information what you have asked for. So I'm going to use it and ask for the summary of the movie Mission Impossible. Right here I'm going to click on it. Summarize the Mission Impossible movie in just one line. So you just saw that I just told part AI summarize the Mission Impossible movie in just one line with the help of my microphone and then press that button and it gives me the summarized form of the movie Mission Impossible. And definitely you can ask anything with this microphone option. It is very helpful and it is very much time saving for you if you want to type very large prompts so that it can help you to save your time a lot. The next trick is very much important and it is very much interesting. You cannot find on ChatGPT, but Bart AI provides you. You can see that there is an option of export response. When you click on it, you will see two options export to docs and dropped in Gmail. Let's try the first option, export to docs. It will say creating document. You can just then click on open docs and it will create a word document and it will just paste the whole summary right here into the word document. Furthermore, you can just save it on your computer or download it in any format you want to download. Let's try the next one. The next one was about draft in Gmail. It is very helpful when you just ask for some email template from Bard AI and you want to just use it in your Gmail or you want to send it to someone, you can just copy that email template and what you have to do is to just click on open Gmail. It will copy the template right from here and then paste it right here. It will be the Gmail screen. You can see that it will be very helpful for you if you just want to copy the template right here and want to send the email template and don't want to copy this right here. The next thing I'm going to talk about is also the summary, but we are going to give the information to a Bard AI with the help of a link. So we will ask Bard AI that could you give us a summary of the article from this link. So let's first find the article. We can just say top 10 facts about ChatGPT. I think it will work. So I'm going to click on it. What you have to do is to just copy the article URL and you will see that it should be a blog so that it can extract the results from it. This is not scrolling down, so I'm going to select another one. Uh, let's see this one. So I think it will work. I'm going to just copy this. And what you have to do is to just type here, could you summarize the information from this article? Question mark, and then you have to give that link, which I just copied from it. Press enter and let's see what it gives us. So guys, here's the result. It gives us the summary of the that article. You can see that right here. So there are about six points right here and it summarizes those points into just simple paragraph forms. And again, you can say that it is very much time saving for you if you just want to 
extract the important information from an article and want to get the details from an article, you can just ask Bard AI and give it the link of the article and you have to just say, could you summarize the information from this article? It will definitely give you the summarized form. So the next trick is very much interesting. I don't have to write anything right here, but it exists right here in this response. If you have noticed this option in Bard AI, view other drafts, you can see multiple responses from Bard AI. So there are about three responses right here and they are also different from each other. Let's try the second draft. So obviously the article is the same, but it uses different words and some, and gives you the information in another words and gives you the summary in another form. Let's try the third draft. You can see that it is also the same and gives you the summarized form in another way. So there are multiple responses from Bard AI. You can it is up to use what you want to select and what you want to use. So the next trick is very much important if you are looking for the explanation of some codes from GitHub repository. First of all, let's try to find some GitHub repository. I'm going to just search for Python code and it will give you some repositories of the codes. You can just open anything right here. Okay, right here is the, you can see that it is the name of the file. I'm, what I'm going to do, if I want to just uh, see the explanation and get the summarized form of this file, what you have to do is to just copy this and you can just type here, could you give the details of the file and you have to just give the name of that file. I'm going to copy that file name and then you have to give the link of the repository too. So what you have to type, could you give the details of the file from the repository and here is our link, paste it right here and then press enter. Let's see what it gives us. So guys, here is the result. You can see that these are the functions. Uh, we can also verify those functions. So the first function is pytest underscore collect underscore file. Let's see if it, if it exists in this file. So here is it pytest underscore collect underscore file. It describes this function and gives you the details. You can also ask Bard AI about another files too. For example, requirements.txt. You can also ask about the description of this GitHub repo by the help of Bard AI and it will just summarize this description of the repo into just simple words. So in this way, you can just get a summarized form or you can just get details of the code without pasting the code from the repo. You have to just give the link of the repo and you have to just copy the file name and give the link to Bard AI. And the form is right here. You can just copy it from the description of this video. So another shortcut of the Bard AI is that you can see that there is an option, Google it. It will just save your time and Google it without copying anything from the response. You can just Google it. So if you click on it, you will see this related topics. You will also find the link of the GitHub repo or all the links related to the response right here. The last thing I'm going to tell you is about some planning trip. You can plan your trip with the help of Bard AI. So the prompt right here is I'm planning a trip to Tokyo. What are the little known places I should visit? So this is just a simple prompt, but it will give you the links of the hotels or places. Right here, let's see what it gives us. So guys, here is the result. And I, as I said before, it will give you the links of the places. So these are the places and it gives you the images, also the links of these places so that you can have a guide of these places. You can definitely customize your form and you can find this form in the description of this video. So this was all about today's video. In today's video, I told you some tricks about Bard AI. ChatGPT cannot do these things. You, ChatGPT also cannot give you the images or the links from Google or it cannot search it on Google. Also, it cannot export the document to the Gmail or the Word document. So it is going to save your time very much. So try to use them and save your time. So if you like the video, click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when I publish the next video. Thank you guys for watching.